What was that? An exhibition? We need emotional content. Try it. I said emotional content, not anger. Now try again with me. How did it feel to you? Let me think. Don't think. Feel. It is like a finger pointing away to the moon. Don't concentrate on the finger, or you will miss all that heavenly glory. Do you understand? Never take your eyes off your opponent, even when you bow. That's it. You are now listening to TSLK. What up, fellas? What up, fellas? How's it going this afternoon to all my retain gang out there, bro? It's your man in the building holding it down for all the retainers, bro. The Shave Lion King. Man, listen, guys. This has to be analyzed. Okay, before I even start, this has to be analyzed We have to look at these things that are shown to us and given to us, bro, as examples of what we need to learn to help us prolong our journeys, okay? We all know that we all go through different things, okay? We all all have ups and downs in life, okay? We all go on our retention journey for different reasons that we are motivated, okay? But what we need to start doing is instead of criticizing okay these people what we need to do is we need to analyze their situation okay we need to see if this is coming from a true genuine spot from this person where they're being truly authentic about how they are carrying themselves and what kind of person that they're displaying to us okay and I want to start off with talking about a gentleman named Nana the Soul bro I know a lot of you guys know Nana the Soul, okay? We all know everybody in the semen retention community, whether people want to admit that or not, okay? Because they literally share all of our videos. So at one time or another, okay, this person probably come across you, uh, come across your For You page, okay? Nana the Soul, all right? I want to go over this video, okay? Because I watched it for the first time. I didn't realize that he had two videos, okay? The one that I watched was, I guess, how he felt after, And the one that I just now um, saw is the one explaining what he went through on his um, one year before he relapsed. So we're going to take a listen real quick to this clip, guys. And I want you guys to pick up on some cues, okay? I'm going to stop the video at certain points, bro. And we're going to talk about, okay, whether you think you know, this came from a genuine, authentic spot. And personally, before I even get started, I really 
believe it is. Okay. But like I said, we have to use this as information to help not only ourselves, but to help others. Okay. And understand, okay, what it is that you're just going to face on this journey. Because like I said, this gentleman went, <laughs> went for a year, bro. Okay. Before the temptation, unfortunately stopped his journey. So let's take a listen real quick to this video and then I'm going to stop it and then I'm going to talk about it in between. So here we go. All right, let's try that again, guys. Um, here we go, bro. We're going to react to this video one more time. I've started it from the beginning again, just because you guys did not hear the video. Let me know in the comment section if you guys are still having any audio issues. So I relapse, but it's a journey that I'm documenting. So whatever mistake that I make, I got to document it, okay? Anything that I go through on my journey, I got to document it. it. It don't matter if it's wins or losses. Everything needs to be documented, right? Um, if you're new here, just know I've been on a streak. Okay, I've been on a streak. For those of you guys who know what retention is, NoFap is, I've been on a streak, man, right? I went a whole year, um, and now I fell short. Okay, I fell short and I'm here to let y'all know, you know, yesterday, bro, bruh, the urges all time high. Okay, now you guys probably are wondering, is it worth it? Was it worth it? Okay, no, it's not worth it. It's never worth it. Okay, now that I'm looking at it today, right, falling short is never worth it, bro. It's never, never, ever worth it. Okay, now I hit a year, so my streak is probably... I still got, obviously, I didn't lose everything. I'm not here to justify the fact that it's good to relapse because it's not, okay? But all I know is that me keeping my energy, right, made me a better man, bro. It made me a better man, bro, overall, right? Overall, it made me a better man. It just made me more sharper, right? Right now, how I'm feeling, I don't feel too bad, but I feel like I've lost some type of energy. So here you go, guys. You hear Nana explaining what he's gone through, how he's feeling on his journey, okay? Now, first thing that I want to say, okay, is first of all, big ups to any young men out there who are on their retention journey. I am I'm most, okay, appreciative of young men, bro, out here who are trying to be the leaders of tomorrow, okay? That is, that is highly commendable, bro, okay? Because in a time where masculinity is struggling, okay, we're at an all-time low. We have so many different issues going on out here in our lives, bro, okay? Uh, masculinity has been under attack, bro, okay? It's appropriate for the younger generation to get in line and fall behind guys who have the motion, okay, like this young man here, 21 years old, bro, and we're talking about a whole year of seed retention, okay? That takes a lot of discipline. That takes a lot of effort, bro, okay? That takes a lot of will, man, okay? Especially becoming from a younger man. As I said, if I would have known about this information years and years ago, bro, okay? Who knows where I would be? Who knows where I would have gone in my life if I would have known about this information at the age of 21, okay? Not saying I would have became the most perfect Lion King, like how I am, you know, trying to draw myself today. But regardless of the fact, I would have had that information. I would have had that knowledge. And therefore, I would have been able to apply that knowledge and then thus seen some kind of benefits from this. Okay. So it's very, very important. Okay. That you guys are out there, bro. Okay. And you're out on YouTube and you're trying to find someone, okay, around your age, bro, that things that you can do and relate to. This is a channel that I recommend you guys to go over to. All right. So let's check on the rest of this video real quick. Okay. No, it's not worth it. It's never worth it. Okay. Now that I'm looking at it today, right, falling short is never worth it, bro. It's never, never, ever worth it, okay? Now, I hit a year, so my streak is probably, I still got, obviously, I didn't lose everything. I'm not here to justify the fact that it's good to relapse because it's not, okay? But all I know is that me keeping my energy, right, made me a better man, bro. It made me a better man, bro, overall, right? Overall, it made me a better man. It just made me more sharper, right? Right now, how I'm feeling I don't feel too bad, 
but I feel like I've lost some type of energy. Okay. Uh, I definitely feel the loss in energy. I definitely feel the loss in just that, <clears throat> that umph, right? That, that, that sharpness, right? That I actually really had when I was retaining. Here he brings up a really good point. Okay. He brings up a really good point right here. Okay. He says, bro, he says, I lost some energy, bro. Okay. He doesn't feel different at the moment, but he's definitely lost some energy. Okay. I'm going to go over this point one more time because this is, I was in the same situation. Okay. About a couple years ago. All right. So you end up coming off your energy. Okay. And like I said, it ends up coming on like a whiplash and like a car accident. If you've never been in a car accident before, and you don't understand what whiplash is, then I have to try to draw another picture for you. Okay. It's like playing a really physical sport. Okay. And all the adrenaline is going through your body and you're not, you're not feeling anything right now. Okay. You feel great. You thought you, you feel perfect. And then you get home and maybe later that night or maybe the next day you start feeling some kind of aches and pains. Okay. This is the same thing that you're going to experience. Okay. After you come off a long streak of retention. Okay. When you release the energy like that, it has a way of catching up with you later. Okay. And this is where you can kind of fall like back down to a flat line and it could be very dangerous. Okay. And this is the reason I want to react to this video because I want you guys to understand that Nana is at a point in his journey right now, bro, where he can either continue to ascend upwards or he could fall off of this thing and go backwards. And we're going to keep eyes on this situation because, you know, like I said, he's, a, he's one of these young soldiers out here, bro, who are leading the new school, bro. Okay. So we got to support guys like this. All right. More and more young men, okay. Need to be acquiring the type of, you know, frame and type of, you know, lifestyle that not on the soul is doing, bro. Because he's, like I said, man, he's, he's doing, this is grown man business out here, man. Okay. And it needs to be commended. I should have been doing this stuff a long time ago. Okay. This is, this is grown man business, bro. Okay. This is trust. This is trustworthy business, bro. Okay. This is someone that you could reach out to and s seriously take their advice. Okay. And I wouldn't, wouldn't even be mad at you if he was charging you for something because you guys don't understand, man. Okay. All you guys that are out there on the fence, still playing with your monkey, bro. You have no idea. Okay. What it's like to walk this journey. We you have to learn yourself. So if you're learning yourself, all you're doing is accumulating all your knowledge and wisdom, okay? And, and now that's able to help somebody else change their life. And if you look at anything that we have today in society that has a price tag on it, most of the stuff is life-changing and can be quite expensive, okay? So this is why something like this must be looked upon as something of, you know, high value, Okay, what we're doing out here, we're high value people out here retaining our sexual life force energy. Okay, you got to understand you're in a different league, man. Okay, if somebody has that on their resume, bro, you should take that person into high consideration. Okay, because this person has gone through a lot of hills and valleys, bro. Okay, and are now walking a true path, bro, of understanding. OK, you women say one of the number one things that they love from a man is knowing that they can trust a man and they can feel comfortable. Well, ladies, if you want someone who is absolutely not going to be a creep, OK, it is somebody who has walked the, a, a path and a journey such as this one. OK, this right here, you, you could trust any man that has sworn his life to celibacy and retention. That is the hardest thing a man can do, ladies. OK, so if you ever hear a man tell you this. All right. This is something that is got to be highly respected. So let's finish the rest of this video right quick. Oh, and you're going to notice that quick. You're going to notice that real quick. OK, I'm not here to sugarcoat. I'm not here to tell you guys all. I'm perfect because I'm not. I'm going to slip up just like you. I am another man just like you. We all go through urges. We all go through that female attraction phase where it's getting to our head and we end up relapsing, right? And this is a lesson learned. <laughs> this is a lesson learned, bro. You know, this is a lesson learned for myself. Uh, you could probably learn something from this. You know, relapsing is never worth it, dog. Okay. Use this video as motivation to keep going because it is not worth it. Whether it's that, if it's with a woman, okay, or with yourself, bro, it's never worth it, man. Okay, it's never, never worth it, bro. You know, 
I was going through a phase where I was focusing too much on the attraction, right? I was focusing too much on women. And then it got to my head, bro. It got to my head and now I relapse. Okay. That's so you hear Nana explain, bro, a very, very important part in this video, bro. Okay. He's telling you, man, that his mind wandered. And I told you one of the number one things that was going to make sure that you did not relapse was to have a clear mind, bro. This is why it's so hard for people in America, bro, to do retention, man. Okay. This is the most radical place on earth as far as sexual imagery. Okay. You can't go nowhere, bro. Okay. You got little, little young women walking around today, bro, that are dressed like that. Okay. From the little ones on up to the adults, bro, you can't get, you can't go nowhere, bro, without being poisoned with some kind of eye candy, bro. That's going to distract your mind. Okay. And this is why, like I said, this is why something like retention here in America all right, has to be highly respected because it's one of the hardest places, bro, that you can ever practice something like this. Okay. You have everything working against you. You have so many obstacles to overcome, bro. All right. It is impossible. I told you, man, it's impossible to go on long streets out here, bro, just because of what you're faced with on the day to day. All right. And this is why people like us who are doing this, bro, have to be respected. Let's finish the rest of this video. A female attraction, right, was playing a huge role on my journey, right? And it got to my head, bro. This should be a lesson. This should be a lesson, guys. This should be a lesson, bro. Because I got to the point where I was like at my peak. I was getting better and better and better. Right? I'm still young. I'm still, I still have a lot to learn in life. But I was getting better, right? I've been in the gym, right? I've been getting money. Right. I've been focused on the Lord, bro. I've just becoming a better. I've just becoming a better man. There he goes explaining this perfectly, bro. The transition of his growth. Do you hear that, bro? See, this is the beauty of retention, bro. OK, because it takes you from uh, adolescence, young boy into manhood, bro. OK, I'm not trying to tell you that everybody instantly transforms over. OK, it's not happening like that. Not everybody's not, you know, morphing up to, you know, their higher self right overnight. But it's a transition. OK, and you begin to see the evolution of one's journey, bro, just by hearing them and hearing them talk and speak their truth. All right. Everything he says, I remember it vividly, bro. OK, when the very beginning of my retention long streak started, this is exactly what transpired in my life. OK, I got so focused, bro. OK, I got so healthy, bro. I got so knowledgeable, bro. OK, and all of these great things combined together, bro. OK, create a very beautiful picture that is that is presented before, you know, society and this is what makes you an attractive person and a person that stands out okay and a person you know that can you know basically attract anything that they want okay because you literally do have the glow i'm sitting here looking at this young man's face bro and i'm telling you right now that's the skin of a retainer okay because it's clean okay and it's bright all right so he's telling the truth bro on every single thing that he's experiencing, all right? You're hearing another person, okay? You're hearing somebody, bro, that has a pretty big following tell you the exact same things that we have been talking about for years. And not only that, you're hearing it from a young man, bro, okay? That's being a leader on the forefront of the battle lines, bro, all right? In a place like this, man, all right? We need more soldiers like this, bro. OK, we need more frontline soldiers like this, bro, who are on their way to becoming real kings. All right. This is what we're talking about. This is the movement that we want. All right. This is real masculinity, bro. OK, this is taking our power back, bro. OK, this is being in our natural balance of life, bro. OK, by having a full ball sack, bro, full of energy and drive, leadership and wisdom, Okay, with a demeanor, okay, but still, all right, masculine, balanced enough, bro, to deal with women, okay, who have es who have uh, estrogen, okay, who are soft, all right, 
we we have the ability of men to be one of the most greatest creations to ever walk, bro. Okay. But we've lost our ways because we've been robbed by what society has done created for us. All right. But because of a movement like SR, seed retention, guys, we're able to spread this message to the rest of the men in this world. And we're slowly making a change. I told you this is the best time ever to buy stock and retention. If you think I'm capping, you're going to one who's going to be left behind. Okay. You're the one who's going to be left behind. Okay. Cause real men are making a movement, bro. All right. And this is going to be bloody attractive, bro, because we understand who we are and there is nothing more attractive. All right. Than an intelligent confident, all right, self-reliant man. Facts, bro. It is hard, bro. We all know it is, man. We all know it is, but let me tell you something, man. Let me tell you something. The reward on this side is so much greater, you guys. The peace on this side is so much greater. I also wanted to add uh, another attribute that I saw on Nana. I could hear it in his voice. I could hear all that bass in his voice. Let me tell you guys something. As a retainer, there's a certain tune to your voice, okay? I, I know you haters, you low-frequency rug rats are not going to understand what I'm saying, okay? And that's okay. But it's going to go over your head. But to all the retainers out there, bro, who understand what I'm saying, okay? You have that roar in your voice. You have that bass in your voice. You have that punch in your voice, bro. Okay. It's a tone. It's a, it's a, it's a refinement of the vocal cords. Okay. I, I hear it every day in my voice, man. I love my voice right now, bro. All right. It's a powerful tool that I have. And I hear the same thing in Nana's voice. All right. We're going to finish off this video and I want you guys to really concentrate on this man's voice and you can already hear it transpiring a year in this journey. I'm just becoming a better man. Like, bro, it's just crazy to me, bro. It's crazy to me how I slipped up. I slipped up, man. I slipped up and, and I still can't believe it, bro. I still can't believe I let the female attraction get to my head, bro. I can't believe it, man. I can't believe it, bro. Um, now, when a female takes your energy, right, it's definitely different. Um, you know, it's definitely a different vibe to it. Like, I don't feel, how can I explain it? I don't feel as drained, right, compared to going on the hub every single day, like how I used to live, right? That's a, this is a, another really good point made by Nana, okay? And I'm going to co-sign exactly what he said because thus, again, I experienced the same thing. Okay. So I want you guys to understand when you do come off your energy, there's a big difference when you do, you know, a self imposed relapse to yourself or relapsing or just coming off your energy to a woman. There's a big difference. Okay. There's a big difference on your energy pool. And I want you guys to understand that. All right. This is why we push for you. If you're going to do it, you're going to do it naturally, bro. And there's going to come something from that. Your energy is going to be used for a purpose, okay? But the problem is, bro, when you're getting double defeated, bro, okay, you're putting yourself further and further behind this long marathon of life, okay? And I told you guys, this is a long race, bro, right? And you want to want to conserve all the energy you can, bro, because you don't know how far it is that you got to go. So why is it that you're going to waste all your energy, bro? on this race, bro, before you even get very far, man. Okay. This is where you got to start using that logical mind as a man, bro. And this is where you're going to unlock those tools though. You're going to unlock those tools, bro. All right. By keeping all of that energy. Okay. Cause that energy is going to have to go somewhere. So it's going to go to mind power. And then when it goes to your mind power, then you start putting things together. Okay. This is the way it works, man. And Nana's not telling no cap. I don't feel as drained, but I can feel that I lost something. I can feel that, right? Um, and you're going to feel that too. If you're looking to get a degree in IT or cybersecurity, UMGC is waiving their application fee through May 31st. You know, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm low-key disappointed, man. 
I really fell short. I let the female attraction get to my head, bro. Like, I really let it get to my head, bro. You know, um, yesterday was Friday, guys, right? I slipped up. I slipped up. I slipped up. I slipped up, bro. You know, this is a, this is a, uh, what, what's that? This is a setback for a, a comeback, man. This is a setback for a huge comeback, bro. That's what I like. See that? That's a real retainer attitude right there, bro. Okay. The, let me let me tell you. Let me just give my reaction because I'm done playing the clips of the video. Let me just give my full reaction. Okay. First of all, I can tell the young man's retaining. Okay. First of all, all right. You're not gonna go and try to tell me that he's not retaining. Point blank. Period. Okay. The man's retaining, bro. The man's got the demeanor of a retainer. Okay. He's really well spoken. He's come a long way, bro. Okay. A long way. I can see the growth. Okay. Even though I don't, you know watch everything that the man puts out but you know like i said i i keep my eye on everybody in the community bro and i'm always watching for somebody to stand out bro okay and, and to make a difference and like i said to be so young bro okay it, it has to be commended okay it, it just has to be because you don't see many young people like this most of the young and fortunately, men who fit the description and bill of a non on the soul, bro, are stereotyped, okay, as low value, okay, as, as people who act out of their character. And to see somebody that's complete and put together, bro, all right, and being able to present information as sensitive as such as this, bro, and do it with confidence says everything that represents a true retainer, okay? And this is the life that you boys don't want to do. You want to be one of these goofies still sitting at home playing with those nasty, stinky, sweaty balls, bro. All right. And smelling those nasty, disgusting, deep down old beans, fart smelling boy. That's what you want to do instead of go live a life, bro, like this young man right here, bro. And show the world, bro, on the greatness of what a man can achieve. Okay. To, to, to not be able to do that, bro, signifies, okay, on what kind of DNA that you're representing, bro. And, and, and for the fact that you know that retention is this life changing and you're not going to be the one person in your life who decides to break all these generational curses, bro, all right, by changing the, the whole DNA line, bro, from this point out to not be degenerates, okay? says an awful lot about the character that you are holding, okay? I'm going to hold you accountable, okay? I'm going to put the pressure on you, okay? Because ain't nobody else going to hold you responsible. So I am, okay? Because if you got young guys like this, like I said, that are doing this, it's only going to be something that much more positive in our future for our young men. Okay. So the man is retaining. The next thing that I look at is the man has his glow in his skin. Okay. He has his glow in his skin, bro. Okay. I can see it, man. That's not no camera lights. That's not none of that, bro. I see it. I know. Cause that's what my skin looks like, bro. OK, I can see it, bro. I can see the glow in the young man's skin. I can see it in his eyes. I can see the change in his body, bro. OK, I can see the testosterone, bro, being beneficial and going to the parts to enhance his body. OK, all of these things that I'm seeing on him, bro, I know is a fact because I have went through that same transformation, bro. All right. And this is why you got to continue to do this journey. OK, because it's only going to put you on the next level. Some of you guys want to skip all of the hard work in life, bro. Get straight to the money. OK, lose yourself while you get the money, because the money is only going to bring you enemies. OK, and only going to bring you problems. OK, and only going to bring fake people into your life. OK, and only going to bring you temptation. OK, but instead of going on the correct journey of life, bro, where you learn how to balance all of these things. OK, before you get to the top and once you get there, bro, guess what? There'll be no falling backwards for you. 
Okay. There'll be no falling off the mountain for you. There'll be no falling for the traps for you. Okay. Because you're in touch, bro. You're in line, bro. You're in tune, bro. Okay. With everything around you, bro. Cause you have now gone through all the stages that one was supposed to go through in order to be able to get at the top and remain there. This is the difference between little boys and men. And this is the difference between if you're going to get chosen or not. And this is why I'd be telling you guys and why this is so important. All right. If you're not in a relationship, all right, you're not in something that doesn't matter to you. Okay. You're not out there entertaining something that's possibly going to be your future partner or wife. Then what is it that you're doing? Okay. What is it that you're doing? You're really wasting your time, bro. Okay. Your life could be so much better. It could be so much happier. It could be fulfilled with so much more peace and harmony. Okay. And a love for living instead of all of this depressive stuff that we see all over the internet, bro. Okay. You could be that beacon of light leading the way. It's a sad that we don't have many people out here anymore in this world, bro, willing to take that role. Okay. But I commend everybody. Okay. And I mean, everybody who is doing this walk, who is conserving their seed, bro, because you are a special one. Indeed, a true chosen one. All right. So if you guys haven't subscribed or gone check over on Nana's channel, man, go ahead and do that. I'm about to get out of here. I appreciate Appreciate all you guys for coming in here, bro. Checking out the video, man. Okay. We're going to continue to support each other. We're going to continue to uplift each other. And I'm going to be doing a lot more of these reactions. It just so happened to be that Nana's caught my attention. All right, guys. So I'll talk to you guys on the next one. You guys have a great night. Peace, fellas. Listening to TSLK. Stage Even if I must sacrifice my life.